grand rising kings and queens it's your sister from another miss the lovely fly shy and i am back with another one may each and every one of you be at peace spiritually and solely first and foremost i hope you all are as prepared for this new month this is actually one of the most important months of the year energetically so i hope you all are getting in preparation for it and setting those intentions um, setting those goals because you, my friend, you chosen one, you star seed, you divine one, you will achieve and execute any goal that you set out for yourself. Oh, look at this, y'all. Two braids shoddy. <laughs> so, um, in advance, um, we're going to do a little something different here tonight, but I do have a word for you all today. It is a prophetic word. All right. Um, I got this word. Well, this word has literally been simmering on my spirit for the past couple of days. I just wanted to um, come at you all at the right time. You know, I'm never, um, just like I said, I always do these videos with intent. So I'm never just trying to get on here blindly without any intent and without any, um, you know, objective behind what it is that I share with you all. All right. So listen, God says, I need you to stay in the ring. Yes. <clears throat> Look, some of y'all before clicking on this video, a lot of you were ready to throw in the towel. You were you were ready to give up. You were ready to run back to the bottle. You were ready to run back to gambling. You were ready to run back to drugs and sexual immortality. You were ready to run back to that terrible relationship that only broke you, right? You were ready to run back to those same friend groups that were always jealous of you and intimidated by your spirit and by your growth right <clears throat> all right so i did take some notes you all because this word is so this this word is huge so i definitely want to um just use my notes to uh touch on the key points but listen to this <clears throat> the enemy been whooping on y'all the enemy been whooping on your finances the enemy been whooping on you at the workplace the enemy been whooping on you at your apartment cl complex in your neighborhood the en enemy been whooping on you and your family dynamic you know um the enemy really just been coming through uh, for a lot of you you know and um not letting up at all but i'm here to remind you all that um blow after blow all right blow after blow um fiery dart after fiery dart you all are able to manage you all are able to conquer all right because god is saying <clears throat> although blow after blow the enemy is coming up against you have you ever hit the flow <laughs> did i ever let you go listen listen god is saying have you ever hit the floor meaning have i ever let you hit the floor and stay there have any of you hit the floor and actually remained there all right, all those other times that God came in and plucked you out of groups, relationships, states, cities. <clears throat> God can do it again. That's what God is saying. God can do it again. He can do it again and again. But what needs to happen is that you need to activate your faith. You know what? Shout out to Prophet Angela. I can't think of her last name right now, but uh, that's how I knew that it was time to get on here today to uh, share this word with you all that was placed on my heart the other day. Um, she mentioned, activate your faith. That's what this is about. It is about the activation of your faith. It is about the activation of your motivation, your determination, that drive, that fire within you that is burning for something new, that is burning um, um, to change your life, that is burning for a change, you know, for transformation, for growth, that is burning for healing, true love, all right, that is burning to meet um, and, and coincide with your higher self, all right, so God is saying, listen, yeah, the enemy is coming up against you blow after blow, but have I ever let you hit the flow? Did I ever let you go? You all need to remember that because you know what, just like you all, I have been through things too. I've been through so much and I think about those things, not daily to the point of where it's wearing me down mentally, emotionally, or spiritually or anything of that nature. But it's just like, wow, God, you really brought me out of that. Like you really took me out of that. You know, listen, you got to believe and you have to have faith when the most high God is working behind the scenes. That is imperative in this season throughout this month. There are things that are going to happen for you just 
miraculously and out of nowhere but you have to have that belief as you're waiting and as you're in your preparation stages and as you are building and, and as God is cleaning up your heart a little more you know balancing out the scales of your heart and, and, and just um eradicating things that cannot go with you on this next level okay so it, it's just important for you all to continue to ask God to guide your steps all right order your steps every day wake up God guide my steps order my steps allow your will to be done through me today all right I just want you all to know that this is a very very magical serene time but for the taking it's not for the for the waiting yeah thank you Holy Spirit it's for the taking and not for the waiting all right you can't wait around and fiddle fiddle your fingers and fiddle with your toenails and think and hope and expect that something is just going to happen no something has to click within you first all right something has to happen within you first so that you can see and so that you can find that get up and go within yourself to make something happen all right, God is saying, I need you to stay in the ring. You were just about ready to fall to the flow. You was just about ready to do the cry, baby. You was just about ready to give it up, throw in the towel. Just say, F it all. But God is saying, no, I need you to fight. Just, I need you. This last round you fighting in, I need you to fight hard. Like, I really need you to fight hard. I need you to show me that you, that you got it in you. Again, it's in you, you guys. It's not on you. All right, so the spirit of the most high God, it's in you. It ain't on you. So therefore, the Most High is saying, I need you to stay in the ring. I need you to keep fighting. I need you to continue to endure. I need you to continue to sacrifice. I need you to continue to be a risk taker. I need you to continue to be a non-conformer. I need you to continue to activate your faith and your belief in the Most High God, our creator of all things, and what is possible through Christ. All right. This is like I said, once again, this is a high inner energy, um, high, highly energetic time right now. All right. It really and truly is. OK, it is a time to really go forth with everything that you all have been sitting on. You all have been questioning yourself about like, should I do this or should I do that? And should I No, just do it? All right, this is the season to take a leap of faith. Stay in the ring, all right? Stay in the fight. You ain't hit the flow yet, all right? You ain't dead yet. You still got breath in your body. Okay, so that is your confirmation to continue on persevering. Continue to be that resilient soul that you were born to be, that you were ordained to be, all right? And it does get critical here in the spiritual, but I want you all to know that not only is the most high God rooting for you, your spirit guides, ancestors, the angels, all of the divine protection for our highest good, you know, and that brings forth the most brightest and purest light ever. I'm rooting for you. So not only do you have all of that wealth of support, but you have me. All right. And I'm, this is just a simple reminder for you all to stay in the ring. Don't give up on yourself yet. You're just getting started. This is just the beginning. Why would you give up and you're just getting started? You don't know where you're going to end up. Especially if you stay on this path that the Most High has you on. You don't know where you will end up. And for some of you, it is important for you to maintain that faith, maintain that belief, that hope, if you will, in the Most High God, in, in what the Most High God can do just for you. All right? So happy, marvelous March, March miracles. All right, ain't no madness around here. We're all about miracles, baby. We're all about manifestations. We're all about just miraculous things happening, you know, for the divine collective. You know, we're just all about um, reaching our higher self and getting to our greater good and getting to our promised land. That's what this is all about, you all. And I just want you guys to continue to stay prayed up, continue to focus on yourself, you know, continue to pray for discernment. All right. Continue to use those positive affirmations, you know, affirm that you are already successful, that you are already wealthy and you, you need to walk in that embodiment. You need to walk in that spirit that matches and that aligns with wealth, that aligns with good health, that aligns with 
just living um, and co-creating your own reality. You have to walk in that, you know, you have to see it in order to believe it. You know, you have to see it, you know, before you achieve it. All right. Remember, it's in you. It's not on you. So chosen ones, stay in the ring. All right, star seeds. There's a mighty plan manifesting right before your eyes. You may not can see it all yet, but trust me, here soon, you'll be thanking me later. But mostly, you need to be thanking the Most High and giving all the glory and praise to our Most High Creator of all things. Because without Him, without our Creator, we will be nothing. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be in this knowledge. We wouldn't be in this truth. All right? <clears throat> so... Without further ado, if you enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate your support always. It means a lot. You all, this is going to be a powerful month. I'm coming at you all with some fire content. We're about to step our game up even more. You know, we're not competing with anyone else but ourselves. We want to be better versions of ourselves every 30 days. You know, this is this is a constant loop of change, all right? Um, and, you know, we're not meant to stay the same. So every month we should be elevating, evolving, becoming new, different, you know, learning something new. Just, it, it, you know, it's really a lifestyle. It's, it's the only way to life. That's the only way that I can live. That's the only way that I know that I'm doing God's will. All right. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing March. Okay. It is March Miracles, Marvelous March. All right. Mighty March. <laughs> for just the mightiest of blessings and abundance and prosperity to fall right into your lap. And that can come in any form. By the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this right here, y'all. But um, it can come in any form. It can be in a, a spiritual breakthrough. You know, a spiritual awakening can happen for you. You can have an emotional awakening, an emotional breakthrough, a mental breakthrough, where finally you're able to manage and cope with some of the things that has been stagnating you, that has been keeping you complacent, that has been causing you all to turn to other forms of, of, of just numbing yourself, such as like substances, sex, and just things that are going to lower your vibration and ultimately keep you in the same everlasting loop of the same insanity, the same insane cycles over and over again. All right, you got to do better. If you know better, you got to do better. All right, it's really up to us. Stay in the ring because it's just getting good. All right.